Let me start this off. Good evening, everybody. I'm so excited tonight. We're having our CEO, Carl Eichler, on the call with us. Um, very, very, very honored to have you. It's a very busy season of the year. And I know um, I want to be super respectful of your time. I did prepare a few questions, but you were talking about the ultimate portion fix and the, the nutrition programs. And if you want to continue on that well, line, uh, go ahead. Uh, I just, uh, you know, what I was saying was that I just came out of a meeting reviewing the, um, the content for the uh, mindset membership and the monthly fix, which these are the ongoing monthly programs that uh, the, the mindset membership goes with QB mindset with direct access to Alana and the monthly fix is content that um, is shared by autumn calories, but beyond the, recipes and the meal plans and um, sort of the, the, this topic of every month. What's so rich about these things is how personal Autumn and Alana get. Um, I, I was reviewing the, the monthly fix and Autumn, you know, reveals aspects of herself and, and how she's imperfect and what she does to overcome uh, challenges that she has and Alana goes into struggling with late night eating and it's like I don't know it's it it bring you know we have this idea of a super trainer and they get put on a pedestal and then to see these two experts um, go into these groups and share such really deeply personal information about how hard it is for them and anybody to stay on a nutrition program and both and you both realize how important this ongoing support will be and the facebook groups that they'll run um but but also how just what sort of value and impact hearing their struggle which is what led to the very creation of their program and how that's going to benefit people who you know i think we've all from time to time, read up. You you read a book. You read a book about nutrition, like the hot diet book, and you go, "I'm going to nail this. I've got this South Beach, whatever." And like, I'm going to go through it. And you read the book, and you close the book, and you put it to the side, and then you go have a donut. Like, like you just <laughs> like the second you're done consuming the information, yes. you're out of it. And what's so great about these two monthly programs is it's going to hold people in it. But it's not like being lectured to. You're actually sharing with the trainer and it's uh, or the expert. And it's anyway. Uh, I'm super excited about it. I just literally was running behind because I just came out of a meeting uh, reviewing how they're going to launch you know, January 3rd, and it just looks so great. I'm super proud of it. So anyway, this is about your group and finishing the year strong. And uh, I've got so much to say, but but let me hear what questions do you have. Well, I was just going to ask you to start off with um, what I know we have a lot coming and always like new offers and new tools that help us um, help people lead healthy, fulfilling lives. And I was going to ask you what are the things that you're most excited uh, for uh, 2020 and how we can leverage those tools to, you know, continue to realize our mission and also, you know, continue building thriving businesses. So I... I think the two memberships will be a big part of that. And also all the changes to Bud. I don't know if you want to talk about that a little bit and how we can use that. Yeah. Um, well, um, the, what we've learned is, and, and maybe your team has experienced this, what we've learned is that it's very easy for people to sign up to be a coach. It's something completely different to, for that coach who signs up to enroll people and to enroll people in the total solution, including Shakeology, including fitness and including a nutrition plan. Like it's not easy for people to do, but um, these, the, the evolution of the business, including the launch of what we call BOD groups is designed to make it easier for people people on your team and, and maybe even some of the people on this call to hit success club 
meaning enroll three people within the first week of every month because it will if as long as you're always inviting to a group um, and not just let me see if I can sell a challenge pack that's not the way to do it mm -hmm. how can I invite people to a group because what we want to see is that if people approach this with the right mentality of how can I help you achieve your goals by joining my group? Then people aren't leading with, how can I get you to buy this amazing shake that I drink every day? And how can I get you to buy an annual subscription to this digital platform that for $8,000 of content, you know, it, you, it only costs you a hundred bucks. Like, like it's so easy for people to fall into the trap of being a, a salesperson mm -hmm. and uh, we want them to stop. Uh, we, what we want people to be is coaches. Yeah. Helping people achieve their goals. The tools happen to be challenge packs. Shakeology helps people at a biological level feel better, curb cravings, lose weight, be healthier. And so we know that, but we don't expect coaches to be these expert salespeople. We expect coaches to be influential at helping people take that step with the total solution to for once in their lives, really give themselves a chance to succeed. Now, uh, you know, a, a coach doesn't set the pricing, company does. So a coach goes to somebody who says they wanna lose weight or get healthy or get strong. Hey, when you come along, this has the total solution. I've succeeded with this. Why don't you join me? But if it doesn't work for you, you get your money back. Yeah. So a coach is on the same side of the table as the prospect or the, the customer and the companies on the other side of the table. We'll see if this is worth it for you. It has been worth it for me, but we got both got to find out if it's going to be worth it for you. So let's get you in it. Let's, but, but, but here's the thing that the coach needs to stand behind, and which, which is what BOD groups should help you do. And and frankly, the the new nutrition programs or the expanded nutrition programs, it should give you 100% confidence to stay in the place of the subject matter rather than trying to become a super salesperson. Mm -hmm. That's that's what I'm trying to change for people. And uh, what I expect to happen is that we'll see more and more coaches who struggle um, with generating transactions understand that that effectively selling a challenge group or starting people in their group uh, with a challenge pack will be the same as inviting somebody for a walk every day for a month like we're going to do a walk you and me we're going to go for a walk every day for 30 minutes for the entire month and hopefully we're going to lose some weight and get in shape so basically the same amount of effort same invitation this, this one costs money, but it solves the nutrition problem, helps them biologically, helps the family eat better. And, and, but at the end of the day, compared to other solutions available out there, like a gym or a personal trainer or a nutritionist or a Peloton bike is a fraction of the price. That's what they'll realize when they start to experience the benefits of this, of this program. So, so like really what we're doing what I, what I hope everybody understands going into 2020 um, is that we are really already set up for success. If we can just get our mentality right, you don't even need BOD groups to launch to be successful with this. What you need to do is change your attitude around, you know, are you inviting to a group right now? Are you standing up for, are you, are you um, maintaining your posture and your belief about the total solution, including Shakeology, including a nutrition plan, including the fitness. If you're standing up for that, I bet you you're achieving success club with no problem. If you feel like, oh, they might be right, this is a little expensive, then you've got to check your own belief system. Mm -hmm. Why are you drinking this shake? Do you think that just a protein shake is going to satisfy a person's cravings for junk food or uh, satisfy their cravings between meals or help them um, have more energy without more caffeine. 
Because I can promise you, I know scientifically, that just a protein shake or just <clears throat> an, an energy shake or just a, uh, you know, a shake that has some fiber and some carbs in it is not going to do the same as a shake that's got prebiotics, probiotics, phytonutrients, er adaptogen herbs, fiber, healthy protein, plant-based protein. Um, I'm missing something. Adaptogens. Superfoods, antioxidants. Antioxidants. Like, right, you can go on with the list. The point is this proprietary blend does something that helps people get results that transcends the vanity, transcends how they're going to look, and instead that beauty is going to start on the inside. They're going to feel better about themselves, uh, and you're going to see it in their skin, in their hair. Uh, and um, that's going to be something that people can feel good about. But you've got to maintain your belief system to be credible in this and not just some salesperson. Uh, I, had, I was on the phone with somebody today and she's, she said, you know, how do you feel about running a multi-level marketing business when so many people criticize these things as pyramid schemes? And uh, I said, you know, I, I, I don't identify with other MLMs at all because other MLMs are transactional meaning that it, it's the transaction and then that's the end of the relationship. Mm -hmm. Now we did it. I sold you a thing. Maybe I sold you a shake or I sold you a candle or I sold you some wine or some facial cream. Now you're on your own with it and you go sell it because you're now you're a distributor. But in the coaching business, the transaction is just the beginning of the relationship. Yeah. What really matters is what you do with it. So again, it was in the context of your question, uh, Emily, it, it's BOD Groups, which launches in April, will, will just be the, a reorganization of what we already do. And mm -hmm. that is, uh, we'll be bringing together uh, Beachbody On Demand with 75 different programs and two nutrition programs. It brings together teambeachbody.com so that the e-commerce is is housed within the group environment and the um, uh, the social media environment that you find on my challenge tracker app. So it's all right there. Yes. All the you know what? It makes me think of the. It makes me. It reminds me a bit of the how it all started with the message threads yes. on teambeachbody.com, which is was before I signed up. But I feel like we're getting back to the core of what made us who we are which is the online support and ongoing community that's going to be all intertwined now with everything that we're offering, which I think is brilliant. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's exciting. You know, this is how we continue to learn. And, you know, this is why I think that, that we're different than an MLM. We're more like what they call, if you've heard of it in the, in the business press, a gig economy. Um, meaning like, like people who, want to turn their ability to uh, give people rides in their car, they can sign up to drive an Uber and they can monetize their car. People who have a spare room or a spare apartment can rent that out as an Airbnb and monetize that extra space. In this case, people decide that they wanna get healthy and fit and put a group together and they can monetize their own decision to be proactive about their health and fitness and support people through social media. This is just the monetization of that same activity. And there's 200 million people in North America who are looking for that. We're in such an incredible position with this technology and this deep library of content and this incredible health shape that, uh, that I think that the business is going to be unstoppable next year. But now let me, let me get to, really kind of what I wanted to talk to you about the most. Um, and that is, what do you do with the last 13 days or 12 days of this month? Um, like, do you start preparing for next year? Uh, like, like, do you sort of enjoy the holidays and go into next year? And you can definitely do that. You can start to set your goals for next year and take a breath and take it easy. Um, but uh, it depends on how ambitious you are, mm -hmm. because my perspective is that champions finish the game, and this game is played till the 31st, yes. meaning 
whatever you wanted to achieve for the year 2019 is not done until midnight 1231. And uh, if, if you're competitive, which I think I know your team is, um, I guarantee you there are teams who you're competing with or people who you measure yourself against who are working all the way through 1231. They are inviting people aggressively all the way through 1231. Maybe not with the absolute expectation that those people sign up by 1231, but I guarantee you the productivity that you, that you have as of the first of the year is directly a consequence of the effort that you put in for the next 12 days. If you want to start off the first week of 2020 with real momentum, you build that up now. Mm -hmm. and you don't start it on the first, you start it now. And the people who, when, you know, every year, every year in May, we have coaches who say, you know, oh, volume is off. My income is down. Every May, they say, you know, what's happening? The business must be broken. <laughs> and those are the people I, when they, I see them post and they're complaining that the business isn't working for them. What I do is I go back to their Instagram and I look at what, what they were doing six months ago. What were they posting six months ago? And it's pictures of their dog and pictures of their Christmas tree. And there's nothing there about coaching. And there's nothing there about inviting to a group. And, uh, and, and the reason that's so important, such an important point to make is right now, even when you're tired, holiday shopping, or you have no time, haven't gone out, blah, 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 haven't bought for the kids, got to cook, got to got to entertain, all that stuff. You've got to find a way to show your audience that even, that that's exactly the point of this, is even when things are tough, that you're finding a way to drink the shake. You're finding a way to watch your portions. You're finding a way to plan for the holiday parties. Because mm -hmm. here's what's going to happen in six months. In six months, in May, let's say there's 10 women who are watching your Instagram right now and wondering, I wonder if Melanie or Genevieve or Jesse, I wonder if they're really going to stick with this during the holidays. And they're watching you because in May, they might be sitting in their doctor's office and the doctor says, hey, you got to do something. You, you got to get in shape. Um, You've got to change the way you eat. Or they might say it to their husband uh, or their kids, and they go, and they're going to think, who do I know that stayed consistent with this kind of thing, even during the holidays? And you want them to think of you. But if you're pretend about this, that you only do it during a launch of a program, or you only do it when it's convenient for you, then you're not authentic and they're not going to think of you. They're going to think of the gym. They're going to think of a Peloton. They're going to think of any other number of things that, that they associate with success. So these last 12 days of this year, you've got to burn in their mind that you represent health and fitness success. Does not mean perfection. It means, like I said about Autumn and Alana, the way they might be sharing their own personal struggles with life gets to them, scheduling gets to them, but then they share how they overcome them. You can do the same thing, share how you overcome the holidays so that you don't um, give away all of the success that you had all of the year that you maintain it this way. You share that with your audience, you will become associated with a person who can truly help your audience succeed. This is when you prove it right now, these 12 days. So this is when you should be inviting passionately, enthusiastically with, with, a, with a mentality that you refuse to be outrun, outworked, out-invited by any other coach. Right now is when you prove that. When everybody else is standing still because of the holidays, you work like it's the beginning of the year. You work like it's a team cup challenge. That's what you want to do. Now, the rest is going to be up to you. 
that I can say that. And let me tell you something. I put my enthusiasm and my effort where my mouth is. I have, this week has been ridiculous. I'm like, literally, I said to my assistant, like she put my lunch on my desk and she gave me the uh, a, a web page to review for the upcoming 10 rounds program. And she gave me all the checks to sign. And she said, you've got a half hour. And I said, wait, I've got a half hour to review this web page and rewrite it. I've got a half hour and that same half hour, I need to eat my lunch and I need to sign all these checks. She's like, yes. And I got it done. So all I'm saying is I'm working harder than I have all year right now because I expect this business to double next year. If you want your business to double next year, you got to work like you deserve it. And uh, the good news is if you do work like you deserve it, I think you're going to get it because between bar blend, six weeks of the work and the new four weeks of the prep, uh, 10 rounds coming up, VOD groups coming up, and then more programs that we'll announce uh, Super Weekend and then uh, uh, at, at the uh, Success Club trip. Uh, this year is packed. But again, it's going to come down to who's willing to work for it and who's willing to do it in a way that's authentic. And I, I've always been impressed by your team and by the way you approach this. And, you know, I just want success for you. That's all I want. And sometimes achieving that success means I need to remind you or remind your team that uh, even when it doesn't feel like it's going to be productive, because we all want instant gratification, but when it feels like it's not going to be productive, that's when you got to do it anyway. And it doesn't feel, ah, do I really need to break a sweat today? Yeah, you do. You got to find that 20 minutes to do that workout. Find the half hour. If you can't, do 10 minutes. Find a way to do it anyway. Post about it. And you will be associating yourself to your audience that you are a person that they can rely on to see it all the way through. Right now is when you prove that. So that's what I had to say. Do you have any other questions? I got about six minutes. <laughs> that's awesome. I, I, I think it's, um, you know, I posted, I think last week um, that I was looking for 10 women who want to get in shape before 2020. And yeah. I think when we decide to be really bold about our, mes about our message, I attracted, and I posted a, a transformation picture. So in that time of the year, maybe we're not expecting people that, would be receptive, but because maybe there are less people doing it, we can be more successful at it. So when people tend to slow down, if you just speed up a little bit, you win the race, you know what I mean? So I'm For working sure. on that. And it's been very busy these last two weeks, but I want to start the year off very strong and uh, I'm very appreciative of your time. Um, and I was, I, was, I was actually gonna ask you, um, let me see. I, I want to make sure that I touch one of the questions that I wanted. I wanted to ask you your vision for 2020, and you just said you want to double the business. So that's very exciting. Um, maybe we can touch a little bit about France, because obviously our market here is mostly French. Uh, we're all very excited for the launch. It's my very first experience to expand internationally, because I'm Canadian, so I didn't get to do the American to Canada. But um, maybe if you could talk a little bit about how we can, you know, maximize the launch and really start, you know, maybe prospecting and building while still focusing on all the people that really need our help right now. Like, I want to make sure that our team understands that there's still so much to do here and yeah. not just get lost in like, you know, thinking about April in France. Well, what I would do is, and, and I don't know if this is right or wrong, but this is what I would do is because you have a competitive advantage speaking the language, um, I would start posting to Facebook and Instagram accounts that are based in France mm -hmm. and inviting people to join your group and to, to, to find a way to just start to change their lifestyle in a way that they start to understand the benefits of portion control, 
They start to understand the benefits of exercise, even if they're not doing one of our programs, but you start getting people like, you're starting to see it. Like you just do, could be a free group. You're just doing a free group. And, and cause you're looking for, like I would do it on a opportunity basis that you're looking for five to 10 people that are just gonna be your little group. And don't try to get a hundred people, just get five or 10. They start talking about it. Maybe you can send them a sample of Shakeology, send them you know, a, a sample of the workouts. And uh, I think they should be able to access the, the free workouts on BOD. So like they can do clean week, they can do a program and then they could create a before and after so that right when this thing launches, they're already teed up with their own success stories to start to build with you. But, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't try to get ahead of things because there's no shortage of people. Um, it's not going to be the kind of thing that you can be behind, but there's nothing wrong with the building the anticipation of a launch by having five or 10 people who, you know, you might just start, you start with two and then you say, all right, what other, each of the two of you know, five people, let's, get them ready and that's going to be our little group and you start to build relationships with them start to show them how the whole ecosystem works but it doesn't really matter until april may right like like right now what matters frankly what's really going to matter to you is how many personally sponsored coaches do you have on your team going into march and april um and i can't tell you why that's going to matter but that's going to matter you're going to want to have as many personally sponsored coaches as possible because of a little thing we're going to do in March and April. That happens to be when BOD group starts. That's all I'm going to tell you because I'd be telling you too much, but there will be an incentive that is really cool, but you're going to need to have personally sponsored coaches, like as many wide as possible, not as deep, but as wide many of your own personally sponsored coaches. So, so again, I think France is going to be exciting, but I would do it with a light touch until it's actually launched because I want you to cash flow now. The more successful you are now, the more successful creating uh, before and after results in your groups. Now, all that will translate into assets that you can use when we're actually live in France. There's no reason in trying to get ahead of the curve, in my opinion, till the tools are actually available. That's super exciting. I'm like, did you say April, May or March, April? March, March, April. Yeah. Okay. I need to set up a contest for my team. Yeah. You're going to want, you especially are going to want to have as many personally sponsored coaches as possible. And they have to be ready to work because March and April is going to be exciting. We're going to have, you know, we'll have the team cup in February and I know you guys will be in the running, but then, so, but, but that, so the point is, if the bigger the team of personally sponsored coaches that you've got for March and April, the more of a contender you'll be in what we're going to do in those two months. Awesome. Thanks for the insight. I really appreciate that. And uh, it's 7.30. Thank you so much for your time. Next week on December 26th, that will be my seventh year as a coach. Awesome. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's been exciting and amazing. So I just want to thank you again for the opportunity. And changing so many lives and transforming our our lives and I, I don't have words to thank you and I appreciate your time and your wisdom and all your tips and I I, I totally ha am setting a team up for a challenge we're all going to work towards having as many PS coaches as possible for March and April thank you all right there you go well I, I appreciate everything you do and I uh, love the the powerful energy that we get from Quebec and Montreal and uh, uh, you know, we'll just do better and better at serving the market. And, uh, but just know that in the meantime, we're so grateful for everything that you do. So I uh, hope you have a great holiday and a great new year, but don't let up. Keep no. being a champion all the way through 1231. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Happy new year. Yeah, you too. Bye. Thanks, Take care.